even the Prophet ﷺ, there are many, many du'as attributed to the Prophet ﷺ, in which the Prophet ﷺ asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for barakah. Allahumma barik lana fihi wa zidna minhu. After the Prophet ﷺ would drink milk, he would say, Oh Allah, put barakat in this and increase it for us. And then when somebody would get married, the Prophet ﷺ would make du'a for him. بارك الله لكم وبارك عليك وجمع بينكم أفيه. May Allah put barakat in this wedding. So that means this barakat is the real thing, and abundance or kasrat is not the real thing. In this time and age, we have this misconception. We think that if you have more of things, more money, more houses. More cars, more clothing. If you have lots and lots of things, then you will be happy and your needs will be fulfilled. And the reality is that your needs might not, might still not be fulfilled, even if you have abundance of things, until and unless there is barakat in those things. That is why sometimes elders they give dua to their young ones that may Allah Taala give you a long life. And it is better for them to not to give this dua. Instead, they should give this dua to the young ones. That may Allah Taala put barakat in your life. Why? Because if you have a long life which does not have barakat, let's say if you have a hundred years to live because of the duas, and in those hundred years, the last fifty years are spent in uh, in diseases, in sicknesses, then that means there is no barakat in it. So that is why the elders they should make dua that oh Allah. Give barakat in the lives of our young ones. Once a scholar, he narrated the incident, this incident of the Central Asian states. He said, "I visited the Central Asian states, and I spoke at some masjid, and then I was a guest at somebody's house for food." And in my honor, they slaughtered a goat, and they cooked a goat, and they put the whole goat in front of me. Now the goat had meat in it, and also there was fat that was attached to the meat. And I was conscious about my cholesterol levels, so I was only eating the meat, and I was avoiding the fats. And here I was; I was a forty, forty-five year old man. And right in front of me was sitting a man who looked like he was eighty, ninety years old. And I saw that he was eating less meat and more fat. And I was so surprised that such an old man, and he does not care about his health. If he's eating so much fat, you know, he can end up having high cholesterol. So eventually, I thought that I would, you know, question him. How his health is and all that, but I said no. I should not ask him. It is his own business. Why should I interfere? Well, finally, what happened was that he stopped eating, and he only started eating the fat with his, you know, with the with the spoon. So that made me completely shocked. So I finally asked him, you know, oh well, my friend, what is your age? And he said, my age is about eighty-five years. So he was an 85-year-old man just eating fat. Allahu Akbar. So the Sheikh, the scholar, asked him, "You know, have you ever visited a doctor? What has he said about your health?" And that 85-year-old man says, "In my whole life, in these 85 years, I have never ever been to a doctor. I have never ever taken a medicine pill in my life." So this is what you call barakat in the life. That you have such health, it is full of barakat. So our our problems will not be solved with just abundance of things, with kasrat of things. Our problems will be solved with barakat of the things. So that is why one should ask for barakat in all our matters.